Hello, and thanks for watching. Today, I'm going to go over my plans for December, where I set goals for myself of things that I want to accomplish for the month. If you hear any squeaking, that's my computer chair. I'm sorry, but I have nowhere else to sit. If you hear some squealing, I do have a one-year-old in the next room who is very much awake. All right, so let's get started. Um, as you can see right here, this is my, um, this is Christmas morning and this is my plan. This is my diamond painting whip for December. I did get a day or I did start a day earlier than I had intended. I wanted to start today, December 1st, but, um, I was in a diamond painting mood yesterday so I did go ahead and give it a little start. Last month for November, my goal was to do these two diamond paintings. That's all my goal was for diamond painting last month, was to, to do these two images. And I did. And since they were the last two um, kits that I had purchased from Amazon... I went ahead and I had these all in a box. I had been collecting them and labeling them uh, and keeping them in a box. But since I won't be doing any more Amazon kits for a while, any more acrylics, um, I just went ahead and bagged it up and I will be putting it away because I am have quite a stash of Diamond Art Club. So... That's not something I will be needing anytime soon. Every month I like to work on a puzzle, but I haven't done one in a few months now. So my, no my November puzzle that I had planned on doing, um, I didn't get around to. So I will save that for another time. Um, I don't expect to work on a puzzle again this month because this diamond painting is so large and I have other things that I want to focus my time on. But should I get an inkling to do a puzzle, I did purchase this puzzle. Like I said, I probably won't get around to it, but just in case, this is the puzzle I'll be working on. reading. My goal for November was to read books 22 through 27 of the Hannah Swenson series. Um, I knew that wasn't a, a reasonable goal, but I did start number 22 and I'm about halfway done with it. So um, I've worked out a time to put towards reading. So I but not a lot. So I should be able to read books 22 and 23 before December's over. So that's my goal for December for my reading. For cross stitch, my goal was I started working on the cryptid stitch along. I had started on November 1st. I started on November 1st and I actually, I don't have it all nice and pretty for you. So I did start this on November 1st and worked on it. Was It was my primary goal for November was to try to get caught up. And I really did. Um, a lot of these averaged me one day. Uh, not everyone, but quite a bit of them. Most of them averaged me one day for each square. And had I not focused on um, diamond painting yesterday, I probably could have finished the last one right that was right here. This is the Ahul. This is where the Ahul will be going. Um, and then I would be all caught up with the current stitch along. Um, I There are some issues, or I, I did run into quite a bit of issues, but this is my first cross stitch, and I'm pretty happy with it. Even if there's a few things that I would fix. For example, 
this cryptids sorry there's a lot of lint on it right now because I wore <laughs> I wasn't thinking and I wore a fuzzy black PJ shirt a couple days ago and now there's black lint all over it but so cryptids is off by two squares so as you see this C as you could see the C so the C is actually supposed to be over uh, starting on top of the line and the S is too far over so if I wanted to frog this and start it all over again I might if I feel like it but this is just for me it's not f and uh, at this time I don't think I'm going to do that but I may I also made the mistake when I was purchasing the um, the skeins for this I did purchase a few um, I don't have them on me right now or maybe I do hold on yes okay so when I was purchasing the skeins I purchased a few pearl I didn't know what that meant <laughs> I thought it was just nicer looking skeins so I've got about four or five of these skeins which if you aren't familiar oh if you're not familiar uh, these strands are it's two strands okay it's two strands but you cannot pull them apart otherwise they start turning into cotton candy so you have to work with this thick piece um, so on a few on a few items <laughs> or on a few of the care uh, on a few of the creatures they are not I had to make some decisions so they're not perfect and I'm not going to purchase more skeins just to go over them so they are what they are um, of all the colors there's only one color that I had that I was not able to purchase um, which is these little guys whatever color it was supposed to be I think 612 and I purchased 613 because I thought oh it's just it should be right next to each other it should be close enough I didn't know that the colors kind you know if you're familiar with the colors that uh, you understand rookie mistake but I mean I guess it's fine enough but to me this color is way too close to the center one um so I started using black outline for everything I did try to mix it up and uh, I thought oh I'll outline him with the light blue the like icy blue color I would outline him with it but I really can't see it very well so I might go ahead and pull that off and, and um, outline him with the black but I don't know so like I said I have a hole to do and then for December I'll be able to do one one a week so that won't take up so much more so much time which is good because I am start jumping in on another stitch along so I have this giant piece of Ada it is sorry it is a 59 by 39 inch 18 count so it's giant um, I need to do the math and, and, and size it and then I'm gonna cut it down so that I could use it for other projects so why do I need such a large piece of Ada and why did I buy a bag of four, 47 different colors of floss um, <laughs> I am going to be joining the Gotta Catch Em All stitch along and I think 
these are the colors I need. I say I think because none of those 447 colors are labeled in any sort of way. So I had to literally look each color online that was needed, each DMC color online, um, and go through all the strand or all the different variation colors and try to pick out which color I needed. <laughs> so this is going to be a Pokemon, a giant Pokemon picture. Um, it's a free image uh, or a free pattern from on Lord Libidin website uh, there is a pattern for each generation as far as I know one through eight I think it was the last one um, anywho I'm gonna be doing the first one uh, generation one and I'll be doing the they have uh, the regular and then they have um, uh, an extended so um, imagine the picture is cropped and so so all you have is the Pokemon filling it from from corner to corner. That's the regular version. Extended would be the uncropped. So you can see the actual bodies of the outer Pokemon. So that's what I will be working on. Um, that I want to start this in December. The 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 event starts tomorrow, December second, um, and. However, I really wanted to get a scroll holder for my Ada before I started. Um, I do have a large uh, frame, snap frame, that is plenty big enough to get started with. But I may, and, and if I really want to get going, I will use it, but... I would prefer to wait until I could get my hands on um, an actual scroll frame. Um, I've been procrastinating on that because I really need to see how big I'm going to, how big of the, um, how big of a piece of fabric I'm going to need, and what so what size frame, uh, scroll frame I'm going to want. I'd, they're very expensive. I don't want to waste my money on the wrong size scroll. So that is everything. Those are my plans for December. Um, like I said, this kit, it will be my primary focus. Um, also, instead of, uh, you, you see I have part of it gridded here, but the rest of it is not gridded. Um, I had pre-gridded um, my last e, uh, Diamond Art Club kit, uh, the last Diamond Art Club canvas I worked on, I had went through and pre-gridded it out, but the washi tape started peeling and I ended up having to uh, re-grid it. So for this kit, since it's so large, I just ran um, washi right down the middle, both horizontal, not horizontal, but yeah, both vertically and horizontally. So it's like a giant uh, window. And then um, I decided one square, would, this square would be week one. This square would be week, either week two or week four. And then, you know, whatever, whatever square I feel like working on for the week. My goal is just to finish the this large square in a week. Um, so... So obviously my goal would be to have this finished around Christmas time, but it doesn't have to be ready or be done by Christmas, um, just before the year's over. Uh, and then the cross stitch, keeping up with the cryptids cross stitch, and then hopefully being able to get my hands on a scroll frame so I could start the Pokemon stitch along, which I refer to as the Sal that never ends because it's such a massive kit it's such a it's such a massive massive image and then that's for each generation how can you do just one one uh generation you want to do them all so those are my goals and i will see you guys next time
Thanks for watching. Bye.